Welcome to the Hobby June Pilot Channel. Today I'm here in Thompson Cove and I do have with me the Walcara T210 Mini and I'm going to play it about and I'm going to talk about this drone a little and I'm going to talk about the era in which I am flying. So stay tuned. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed. Think you're some So according to Bill the Joan reviewer, it's a good day for flight. And I finally have the drone in the air. I'm probably about 92% on the battery because I was changing over my phone. I usually fly this drone with my main phone. And I decided to change it over to a backup phone because I don't want to use my main phone to fly drones anymore. I just don't want the inconvenience. So I'm up in the air in terms of cover flown in this area before. But I have only flown the Potensic Atom SE. And I have flown the NG Level Budget Joan, the Gorail X38, which is sitting just between a toy and a NG Level Joan. And in this area, the winds are always very strong, but it's sort of subdued today and I'm going to talk a little bit about this Joan and I'm going to talk a little bit about the recently released T210 and Mini SE which is supposed to be an upgrade to this T210 Mini Joan and I saw the Caper Couple channel uh, Kevin of that channel was doing a comparison video between the T210 Mini and the T210 Mini SE and I firmly agree with him that the camera and the Mini SE that's the Walker T210 Mini SE is much much superior to the camera on this T to 10 Mini. I always thought that the camera on the, 210, the T to 10 Mini was excellent. But when I see, when I saw the video that he posted and I saw the footage from the T to 10 Mini SE, I felt that that is a drone that I have to add to my stock of of Jones the video footage on the mini SE that is the T to 10 mini SE it's really vibrant and radiant it is popping um, the colors look natural. Um, the, the, the sky looks good. And when you look at the footage side by side from the two, two drones, the mini SE footage looks 100% better. The T to 10 mini footage looks a little washed out and dull. Don't get me wrong. Still excellent for the the, the price. But I certainly agree that the T to 10 mini SE camera is better and that is a jewel that I would like to have 
in my stock. The other interesting thing about the T to 10 mini SE is that it operates with a OTG, OTG cable. So there is no issue or there will be no issue with Wi-Fi connection. So you should have better range and better transmission signal. This T to 10 mini does reasonably well for Wi-Fi too. But if you're flying in a very Wi-Fi challenging air, like here in Thompson Cove, where there are a lot of villas and private homes and guest houses, etc. And private holiday residential homes and, and so on. There are a lot, there's a lot of um, Wi-Fi interference and I am actually experiencing some transmission glitch as I speak. And so I believe that the the mini SE perform much better. Additionally, a couple of weeks ago, I was flying this drone down in the Tordo Tail area and I lost signal. But it wasn't a big issue because I knew why I actually lost signal because I was turned away from the the drone and my antennas was pointing the controller antennas was pointed in the direction of the drone and it lost signal and it began an automatic return to home and I I allow it to come back and to my surprise this drone flew past the the home port and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, well, any moment now it's going to turn around, you know, reorient itself and and um, and come back. No, it continued. Probably 150 meters or so past the whole point and, and going at breakneck speed. You know, as the Americans would say, it was hauling the mail, as we would say. Yeah in the Turks and Caicos Islands, excuse the expression, it was all in us. And I had to actually cancel the return to home and took manual control of the drone. It didn't actually panic. And I brought it in safely. And I was wondering what was the cause for the drone to behave in that way because it was the first ever glitch I was having with this drone. I bought it in October 2023. So I have it approximately six months. I have flown it about eight or ten times. But never have any issues whatsoever. And I was wondering if the compass calibration wasn't right, if there was some interference, etc. Anyway, I landed, changed location, very far away from where that incident happened, through the Jordan without any compass calibration, and it flew well, came back to home, no issues at all, so I don't know what was the glitch, but it was rather um, scary. Nevertheless, this, in my view, is an excellent drone. But I believe that the T to 10 Mini SE is even better. So, so much for this drone. Let me talk a little bit about the area that I'm flying. It's um, in terms of Cove here in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Providence here needs to be exact. And this is an area, an upscale area in the Turks and Caicos Islands. I remember 20 years ago, this area was practically bushes. It was like a, 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 a ghost town. 
And a few years ago, when I revisited this area and I saw the sort of developments in this area, I, I, I was surprised. It's a, a private estate here, you know, a little bit um, secluded. I noticed that it has security patrols. A security just passed me there, you know, patrolling the area and so on. But it's a very quiet area in Providence, at least, and it has this um, canal running through the length and breadth of the community and it has an opening that goes out into the, the ocean so I guess that is where the, the owners of the, the private boats and so on would enter into the ocean and exit when they're returning back to their their homes and their, their boats as you can see, I'm right over the, the canal here. And this is probably the deepest part of the canal and the widest part. And all the way in the distance is um, the Blue Mountains community, which is another upscale area here in Providentialis. And then beyond that is um, Grace Bay, the famous Grace Bay. Beach and the Grisby Strip, etc. The breeze or the wind of now um, picked up, but the drone is um, handling well. A few glitches here and there. I'm just about 500 meters out either way. Do not intend to go past that. And I'm just about 170, 172 feet up. So let me just fly around here. And you could see what I'm talking about with the camera. If you look at the skyline there, you could see it look all, you know, um, washed out, you know, depleted of color, etc. When I looked at the comparison video and the upper channel the T to 10 mini SE the skyline and the clouds they you know, look all rich and and radiant and vibrant so I fully agree that while this June performs excellently and the camera is reasonably good that the SE is an upgrade and I can't wait to get my hands on the the SE and to do my own comparison flight and compare the camera quality for myself and so that viewers can have a, a look and leave their comments and the channel so what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to, to bring the drone in and then I'm going to go on the opposite side of the canal where I usually fly from which is in the area of the the community park that you're seeing in the distance here. I usually fly from that area but today I just decided to um, change location and fly a little bit deeper into the, the community. So I will soon bring the drone down, let it cool down a bit, change the, the battery out, and go on the opposite side and continue. Flying. And it's, yes, it's really a good day for flying. So you could see behind me here, my um, surroundings. This is the area where I'm actually uh, located. But surely, I will go over on the other side to continue my flight. So see you shortly on the other side.
the other side now I have the drone up in the air I'm on, on the side of the community park the wind has uh, picked up um, significantly this is more what I'm accustomed to when I come down in this area to fly you know very strong wind howling the leaves swaying on the trees etc but I never had an issue with any of the drones that I flew here previously they all handled the wind reasonably well and I'm thinking that I will come down here in a week or two and fly the DJI Mini 2 SE which is my most recent drone but I know from experience that this area is um, geofenced by DJI and I will have to unlock in order to to put a DJI drone in the air in this area but it can be done so I am not actually knocking this drone because I still stand by my word that this is the most underrated under 250 grams mini drone in this area in this price range and in this category is up to 50 grams category i have still not seen it being reviewed by any of the big reviewers you know those who review the Fimis and the dji um budget jones and artels and the hobsons i have not seen any of them review this drone it's an excellent drone it can hold its own with any of those big name drones and no matter that it is a wi-fi drone it flies like a quality drone it uh, behaves like a quality drone as a bunch of intelligent flight features and has a a feature called the cho to go where you hold the nose of the drone down and when it beeps you just chew it and it flies and you could see I have a couple of videos where I test out this feature the first time I did it I actually chew it in some bushes and crashed but then I tried it the second time and was successful so yes and it also works with a, a motion controller that you have to buy separately and you could issue voice commands through that that controller i have not bought the controller i don't think that it is necessary for what i do i'm a Obvious, and not looking to incur unnecessary expenses. Um, the drone for me is doing what I purchased it for. Is um, performing just the way I expected to. There's no need for me to get a motion controller that I would use probably once in a while. You know, I'm very comfortable using the controller with the sticks, etc. So, yeah, the Walkara T210 Mini is still a very good beginner a budget drone in 20. 24. In fact, I saw it very recently on Amazon for 4 99 and I was surprised because the price is much more than when I actually bought it. I think probably that's the whole combo package. I don't know. But now I believe it is unavailable. The T210 Mini S is also unavailable when it comes back in stock on Amazon. I 
plan to pick one up. So you may see it on the channel sometime in the near future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you very shortly in the next one. Bye for now. Cheers. And it's a good day for flight.